Don't miss it. calling post three. Go ahead, 320. We're on IS-71, three miles north of 250 interchange. Okay. For an hour, nothing. All quiet. And you begin to hope that maybe this will be one of those freak days. Maybe it'll stay this way, but you know better. even, sir. Son, you've got a bad muffler there. That's why your motor sounds so loud. You should get a new one. Thank you. I will. for coffee or something. No, forget it. But I'm falling asleep. And you can hardly keep your eyes open. You can't get coffee on 71. You have to get off the highway to get it. And who wants to waste time? Yeah, but you just missed that car. Stop worrying. I'm okay. Turn the radio on.
other patrolmen were there when we hit the scene. This was a common type, a rear-end collision, and it was pretty gruesome. Those cops were just absolutely crazy. They were absolutely crazy. I mean, uh, good grief. Uh, top hats, uh, it looked like they came off of a, uh, uh, good grief. But uh, anyway, we were having a barbecue here today and Pete blew the barbecue pit up and that's why I got burnt hair all over me. Pete burned the barbecue up, blew up in my face, but that's okay. The barbecue would be great, but those cops there, uh, I don't know, I need to get me one of those hats of those, uh, what are they, troopers or, uh, uh, yeah, I need to get me two of those hats. I won't tell you why, you just guess it one to crap in and one to cover it up with, but they're they're doing their job. Uh so uh Mary Kay, uh hope to see you there this weekend. Uh I apologize. Doggone I can still smell that burning hair. Thanks, Pete. So uh anyway, uh look at the way they were driving. <laughs> they wrecked the car. Uh, they were, shouldn't have been driving anyway. Falling asleep at the wheel. Don't know about that. Mm, don't know about that. But the Studebaker is going to be here this weekend at a Worldwide Magazine pick and nick. Nick and pick. Sunday. June the 8th. The Studebakers, and we all want you to come. So be there or be square. This is a uh, middle Horner brother saying it. Uh, the other Horner brothers will be there. And let's see, if you got any other acts you can come up with, bring it on, bring it on. If you can juggle... Uh, bring it on. If uh, you can dance on the ceiling, bring it on. Take your choice. If you got to act, just bring it on. Because I got to act to myself that I'm going to surprise everybody with. And also, my brother uh, Eugene, he's not going to make it this year. So, uh, come anyway. Come anyway. You got me worried. I thought maybe you chickened out. Here, put these gloves on. I've changed my mind, Jeff. What do you mean? I'm not going through with it. So you have gone chicken. No, I haven't. I'm just using this. And you better start using yours, too. I'm not going to let you back down now. There's nothing you can do. I told you I'm not. You're not telling me anything. I'm the one who paid for those lessons Terry gave you, and you're going through with it. You know something? You ought to have your head examined. You don't make sense. Here you con me into taking up with Terry. And you pay for me learning to open up some locks for what? Just to pick up some loot you don't even need. Now, does that make sense? It's just the kicks I'm after. Well, you'll have to get your kicks without me, Jeff. Are and you... don't worry about the dough. 
I'll pay you back somehow. But, Jeff, I learned something from Terry that you didn't pay for. I get it. Terry's been feeding you all that religious jazz. And you fell for it. That's it, isn't it? No, I didn't fall for anything. Terry and some of the others in the youth fellowship, well, they helped me to see something you I should You know, I, I wish that a guy like a Tom session. Horner would really get religion like these guys did in this movie. Because, as you know, Tom is a very godless person. I didn't know you could read. I'm telling you for the last time, get your claws off me. Okay, Holy Joe. Tell me, just what have you been reading lately? This. And skip the wisecrack. Oh, that's a bound copy of Playboy. There's a lot of pretty good stuff in here, Jeff. Is that a fact? It sure is. And if you'd take time to read what's in here, you'd wise up to how stupid we've been. Got the answers to all... You know, Tom, Tom Horner, I wish that you would get religion like these jerks did in this movie. Well, uh, in the name of Jesus, I, I speak in tongues. Uh, I'm speaking in tongues. Tom Horner said it. I'm glad you got here before the cake was all gone. Sorry I was late, but I had to stop and let Jeff know where I stood. Terry. I'm sure glad I took you up in that invitation to your youth group. Me too. We're all glad, Rod. Julie, if Terry could do it, why couldn't I? You see, I? Tom, is, those well, girls like look real really religious, says. but I'll tell you the if truth, I know these girls. We shouldn't be they're afraid very to easy, they're very others. friendly girls. Say, you don't suppose, I mean... Well, if some of you could help me... Well, maybe I could do it, too. You know, uh, that religion stuff is really great, but um, some of the biggest hypocrites in the world say they're religious. The trash people that were living in the apartment building I managed, we just evicted them. I had all kinds of religious stickers all around the house, and these were the most godless people in the world, living like a bunch of filthy pigs. And we're going to show you some of the pictures of their apartment a little bit later today if we have time. Now, coming to the picnic, please come this Sunday, Carondelet Park. The Aileem Dance Academy dancers are going to be there. These ladies are always a big hit. They dance their heart and soul out for you out there. And they always involve the audience into their act. The Aileem Dance Academy, a really fine bunch of ladies. They're crowd pleasers. Well, that's that's not the I mean, okay. That's that's Rosie there. Rosie. I don't know what happened to her, but maybe she'll show up. Who knows? That's Serena. I must remind you once again that the picnic is going to take place this Sunday at Carondelet Park. It starts at one o'clock. It's rain or shine. We have free pictures. Free bumper stickers. We have some free sweatshirts. We also have some fabulous demented Black Jesus t-shirts that we have for the first time and some PEP t-shirts. Also some videos and other things. So come to the picnic. Bring your own food and drink and let's have fun. It's a party. A party in the park celebrating Worldwide Magazine's 37th anniversary. The Studebakers are going to be there, and the Aileen Dance Academy is going to be there, and we've just booked this new act. Not only are we going to have the Aileen Dance Academy being there, but we also have the Alien Dance Academy is going to be there. Let's show you the pictures of them. Not to be outdone by the Aileen Dance Academy, the Alien Dance Academy is, is really, uh, perhaps, this is their first appearance anywhere in the United States. This is the beginning of a world tour. It's something very unique. People from other planets dancing at our picnic. And we're very excited about that. Now, we're watching some films from a rehearsal they had at the uh, Fox Theater. Actually, not the Fox Theater, the uh, Fox at the Muni or something like that. Um, but they're going to be 
doing their first picnic appearance right here at the Worldwide Magazine 24th Anniversary Picnic taking place this Sunday at Carondelet Park. We'll see you there. It's rain or shine. If it rains, come. If it shines, come. But come to the picnic. We also have uh, another group that's supposed to be there. Who knows if they'll show up, but they say, they go, ah, look at that. Looks like, uh, I don't want to say. We also have coming to this uh, picnic, scheduled to come anyway, the murderers. Let's take a look at the murderers again. Never kicked all white people out. They always kicking black people out for no reason. But it's mostly black people in there. Right, that's We're the point. Us they kicking us out. But I noticed, but we I the noticed shoppers. when they were kicking you out, there was a big crowd of people following you, cheering you on. Thank you, thank you. But because see, like, we, we, we black. You know what I'm saying? We let black. know. We, we represent now, see, that's how it is. I mean, we come up in here, we tell we walk, man, I'm saying? That shit not mess with us. They, everybody up in that motherfucker. Oh. You ain't got something to go up there and let yourself be known, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, I mean, I go up in this motherfucker. Oh, oh. I go Damn yeah, motherfucker, right over there by Taco Bell, all in one. I'll be, I'll be damned if I let a motherfucker ice security guard put me out of the hospital for God. I'll kill one of them motherfuckers. Hell, that motherfucker till the day I die. And they want to get us because our pants sag. What I don't understand the problem. We they come here, we inside. You know what I'm saying? We, some people ran. We ain't even with that clique. You know what I'm saying? We come here, we chilling. They don't understand us. You know, it, it's all good. That, them the same police are violence are every day. Them the same people that violence are. And it's a big fat white one. Fat day. Big fat white one up in there. He kicks us. He uh get ready. Pull, this happened the other day. He pulled a billy club out on me just for no reason. Talking about uh, man, it's a reason. It's, it's a reason. Same ass they prejudice every day. You know they Do you hear me? All every day. Every day. And every day. You know what I'm every day. And, and the black people heard. You know that, that's that's we the main stoppers. We the main stoppers. We the main stoppers. Do you hear me? That's how they get their money. That's how they get their money. You feel that? That's how they get their money. And you know they don't appreciate nothing we do. So it's like this. Yeah, see, we rapping, see, we perform murderers. You know, we come up here, we try to get us some little girls. Yeah, we, we rapping, see, we are artists. You know, I'm murderers. We try to come here and do some shopping for, you know, when we do concerts, and they want to kick us out. But we can't be stopped. We black, we people, and we power, baby. Right. Oh, wow. yeah. They can't kick us out, because they run it. We, we, you know what I'm saying? That's all it was. They kicked us the I wouldn't let those white motherfuckers be around. That's the reason why we going back up in there. No, don't, don't take this shit. Thanks for the hell no. Don't take this shit. You take your time. You take that shit. What? They seem like nice people to me. If they shoot at us for no reason, you see me, I ain't got no gun on. They can't show him, 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 out. It be the capital C, the A, the R, the B, the E, the double, the L, E. Stay from here. You check yourself a nigga like a double very you six feet deep. You rest in peace. R.I.P. is written on your chest and your monkey way. ass. It's the shit you've never seen a black brother like this. A common thing. I come from the 85 street. It be the edge. My soldier. Where my dumb is rolled. Other niggas can be older. Step aside. Uh, Bust the slugs. Here we go. It's time to down. Get your glock to make them niggas throw it down. And I'm all around. I'm coming down. Roll up with some folk. I put it on my track. Making niggas see the shit. Well, I go back, busting my slugs, I'm coming down against my Glock, put them niggas with my shit, kill them cops, and it's drop, bust me down, get my money, make them bitches see me, I'm rolling down, got my shit, now be rolling deep. Grimming up out the hood, I make that grip, when I got a blast, 24 air race, and the STL, when I make that, when I make that grip, put the love of the game, when I blast, all right, man, I cross, I taste, I trace, and the motherfucker, I hit it for nigga, when I trip, and I pop in the clip, and I put these motherfuckers there, the black, and the gun, and the gun, when I make that save, when I rip, when I go, when I blow, when I blow, when I rip, when I go, when I rip, when I fall, when I knock, and I'm in the Mac 10, I can't really save it, grimming up the STL, gotta give it on up, to the downtown, to the polo, to the to the old pot, to the cockpit, yeah, yeah. you see these to the west side, to the west end, to the genius, to the Normandy, to the Kings Highway, to the Trapper CD, to the Bay End, to the Clay End, to the Murphy Blur, to the B Body Straight, women up out of the circle, to the Louisville, to the Murder Field, to the Murder Block, West Side, East Side, North Side, South Side, in the motherfucker. Now we're not sure about this, but we're trying to get. We think we might do it. Archbishop, His Highness, Archbishop Justin Regali, to make a brief appearance at the picnic. We're not sure we're going to get him there, but we're going to try. 
Um, it'll be like a first. It'll be a real coup if we get them. Um, we're, all our prayers are hoping that we will get them. But, you know, he's real busy on Sunday. It's a busy day of the week, you know, church and everything. Now, you know, he's going to do a lot of stuff down by the riverfront later this summer because, you know, he's an archbishop. Anyway, keep your fingers crossed. Maybe we can get him here to the picnic. As we all attend the picnic this Sunday at Carondelet Park, see the beautiful girls, see the exciting acts, see the murderers, see the Studebakers, see Tom Horner, see Vince, see anybody, I don't care, but come to the picnic this Sunday. <laughs> And remember, it's rain or shine. And if you're going to go to the picnic, we recommend no other way to go there except with the bi-state bus. You know, you meet the nicest people, the most normal people in the world, on a bi-state bus. The upper crusts, you might be sitting next to a bank president, a doctor, or a lawyer on the friendly bi-state bus. Stop it. Why don't you buy your own Getting off to go to the Worldwide Magazine picnic this Sunday in Carondelet Park. Just go to Interstate 55 in Loughborough, go left a few blocks on Loughborough, and you are there. But watch out for that bad old tiger. 
That old tiger sure do like dark meat.
I'm just as plain and simple as you can plainly see. That's why I'm plain and simple, as simple as can be. Yes, join Tom Horner and everybody as the Worldwide Magazine 27th Anniversary Picnic comes to happen this Sunday at Carondelet Park. <laughs> Yeah, Tom Horn is going to be there. We want you to be there this Sunday, the Worldwide Magazine Picnic. And I want to thank Paul Hampel from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch for uh, doing that story about me. It was really a big event, actually, and I was honored. I'll never be on the top of the front page of the newspaper again as long as I live, even if I rob a bank. They won't put me there again. That's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. So th thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I want to talk about Paul Shankman. Now, Paul Shankman is a really nice man, and he's very talented, too. And uh, you know what? That radio station, 55 KTRS, I was the, really the first casualty. Well, I found some new information out. I haven't talked to Paul in over six months, but um, I found out that one of the reasons I was canned from the place I was actually canned before I was hired is because they have 21 partners now. They were being backed by the cable company, and that was great. But then the cable company pulled out, and they got 21 investors, and none of these investors are silent partners. So one of the 21, or maybe more than one of the 21, just didn't like me and told them to give me the ax. So it had nothing to do with really with that episode of the show. And it just, you know, it was just when a station is run by a committee instead of one man, it's hard. So I don't really blame the bosses there. They're just trapped. And uh, Paul Shankman, now, he has gotten the ax for his weekday afternoon drive time show. And I've been listening to that station. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been listening to that station, and he does a really good job. Uh, even though I was kind of bitter about everything, I did listen, and he did a wonderful job. He's being replaced in a week or two by Frank Opinion. <laughs> hey, I want to tell you some good fart jokes. <laughs> so, I mean, they're really moving on the way up there. So, congratulations, uh, Frank Opinion. <laughs> I'm just as plain and simple as you can plainly see. That's why I'm plain and simple, as simple as can be. <laughs>
Another Flip the Frog cartoon. Flip is the coolest frog I know. And i uh, got to remind you, we just have a few minutes left here, that our picnic is this Sunday at Carondelet Park. That's off 55 in Loughborough, just a couple of blocks west of 55 on Loughborough. And you can call up the viewers hotline for more information, 879-3002. And we're going to have free pictures, free bumper stickers, some free sweatshirts we're going to give away. We also have Black Jesus Demented T-shirts that we never had before. These are really wild. We also have uh, T-shirts with my picture on it. And we also have uh, videos and a lot of other stuff. So come on down to the picnic. The Studebakers are going to be there. The Aileen Dance Academy is going to be there. The Murderers are going to be there. But I just called them up a while ago. And, um, well, I hope they're going to be there. And uh, we're going to have uh, a bebop band that's going to be there and all kinds of stuff. And bring your own beer, bring your own booze if you want to drink. Uh, no glass bottles, but you are allowed to drink. Bring your own food. There's a barbecue pit there. And we're going to have fun. Let's hope the weather is nice. But if the weather isn't, we're still going to have the picnic because it's a completely enclosed pavilion that we're in. So we'll see you, let me see what time it is here. We'll see you uh, at the picnic coming this Sunday at 1 o'clock. Rain or shine in Carondelet Park, picnic area number one. It's on top of the hill. It's the biggest picnic area in the city. And we hope to see you there. And let's hope a lot of people come. And let's hope we have as much fun as we did the last time. 
So we'll see ya. And let me see what else I got to say here. Um, well, we hope you enjoyed this little show. We kind of had an informal show. And we played some cartoons and some other weird stuff. And visited with some people. And told you about the picnic. And we hope you enjoyed it. This is a one-time only show. And um, it will never be rerun. This will never be on again. Which is perhaps good. And before we leave, we would like to give you uh, Tom Horner once again. And Tom Horner's words. Tom? <laughs> I'm just as plain and simple as you can plainly see. That's why I'm plain and simple, as simple as can be. <laughs> Born out there, you know what I'm saying? Queen Culture, Queen Sauda, all of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Just big up, you know what I'm saying? Everybody out there, my man Lifestyle, Amine, anybody listening, worried up the whole Modu click, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've been booming y'all, y'all's joint as of late, you know what I'm saying? Just, just a little something. That four wheels and crash grills joint, I just been like rewinding it a little something, but the words of wisdom joint. That